Patrick Nelson. He went on a ride today with some of those plow drivers. Patrick, what was that like to get that first-hand look? Well, Rob, there was a ton of snow, as Mike just mentioned, up near the Palmer Divide in Monument. And that combination of snow and wind making that commute to and from Denver especially tough as we head toward Thanksgiving. Now, many drivers are going to be trying to find alternatives to the interstate because, as we know, if there's even one crash, there can be some major backups. And so we learned that El Paso County snowplow drivers have that burden on them to try to clear those roads because folks may be out there on those county roads. I went for a ride with one of them. Take a look. While most of us were sleeping, Ronald Towns had already started his day behind the wheel of his El Paso County snowplow. Uh, it's been uh, slow going. It's been, uh, you know, just trying to get through all these main roads, get them opened up. Pretty slick and pretty deep. The snow continued to fall Tuesday morning, but Towns says it's the wind that makes the job so tough and even dangerous at times. It creates a lot of snow coming over the truck and hard to see at some point. The urgency to clear the roads picks up with every passing hour. A lot of things can jump at you, cars stuck in the snow drifts and you can barely even see them. So there's a lot of things you gotta, you just gotta have your head on a swivel. It's work that could take days as Thanksgiving Day approaches. Yeah, it's come with the territory. It's not the first time uh, I've spent holidays plowing snow. You know, over the 14 years, I've missed quite a few holidays. And I'm told right now there are 31 El Paso County snowplows working hard to clear 2300 miles of snow covered roadway. I'm told once the wind dies down, crews will also begin to address gravel roads. Thank you plow drivers for all you do. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5.